Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, so this week, what I thought I would do is, since the, the piece of music that I came out with last week, Nameless, um, I, I thought I would walk you through some of the technology behind the scenes that I used for that. Um, now for that, I'm going to be just a quick how I import and export files for Guitar Pro, import MIDI into Reaper, and what software I use to make that. This isn't a comprehensive tutorial by any means, but it's a brief, wait, how does that work? Sort of thing, um, just so I can sort of show you what I'm using, and also so that when Lucas has a question, he can look back at this video and use it as a quick reference guide. Now the reason that I use Guitar Pro is it works on Windows and Mac. Right now I'm using my Mac in my kitchen, I have a Windows machine in my bedroom, Windows laptop that I take with me places, and Guitar Pro can talk to, you know, work on any of those platforms, uh, Windows 8, Windows 10, or whichever version of Mac OS I'm using right now, I forget. Um, so that's great. The reason I don't use Tux Guitar, which is the free version, is because the GPX file format came out and there were some cover songs that I wanted to learn that were relatively current at the time and Tux Guitar just wouldn't open those. The uh, software wouldn't cooperate. So I ended up paying for Guitar Pro 6 back in 2012, beginning in 2013, somewhere around there. Um, Reaper I use for pretty much the same reason. It works on any platform. Even if I had a Linux machine, I could use it on there, which would be great, but I'm not that much of a glutton for punishment. Um, when I was just using my Mac, I didn't have a Windows machine for audio production. I would just use GarageBand. It works just fine. A lot of the built-in sounds are great. But being able to talk to different platforms, you know, work on something in here, and be like, hey, I'm just going to throw that in my G drive and go work on it in the other room. It's a wonderful thing. So, let's get started. Hey, future John here. Um, just wanted to take a second and mention that I'm not particularly good at the, uh, the whole screen capture thing. For some reason, the software doesn't work terribly well on my 2009 iMac that I'm using right now. So, um, this is just going to be a series of screenshots with a voiceover. Uh, I will hopefully be upgrading some equipment whenever I can, but in the meantime, this will do. Thank you so much. Back to the video. Okay, so we've got Guitar Pro open here, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly import the file here. This is the, the nameless file that I wrote several years ago. Um, now, this is interesting. There are some extra tracks here, so give me just a second to clean that up. And as you can see, I've got a few, few things here. Um, one thing I've learned over the years is that if I write in drop D and export it as MIDI, the tuning doesn't translate correctly so I have to go back and manually correct a lot of the guitar tablature to make the the actual sounds come out. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'm not going to bore you with watching all of that of course but now that that's done I will just let's say that this is a, a file that I've just written so I'm going to go ahead and export it as MIDI okay and now that I've got that exported I'm going to go ahead and open a Reaper session, and I'm going to insert the media file. It's going to ask me a couple questions here. I'm going to go ahead and pick that, and here we have everything imported. And now let's uh, just take a second here, clean some things up. Obviously I've worked on this file before, I was just showing how this works. And now I'm going to take a moment and just kind of one at a time show you the tracks that I use for the uh, the audio that came out last week. The first one is the Easy Keys Mellow Tune that I use for the strings. And then there's the, uh, the Easy Keys, I th think this is the Classic Electric. I'm um, using the Wurlitzer setting. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Now here's here's the new one for me. Um, 
Easy Base just came out recently. This is by no means showing all the features of this. This is just a quick how does this sound sort of thing because I didn't want to take the time to record bass myself that morning when I uh, put this song up. So I went ahead and just rendered it as MIDI. And then of course, Easy Drummer, Easy Drummer 2 I should say, uh, using the um, the modern vintage preset with a couple of small changes here. First of all, this symbol up here, usually I use Sabian symbols, but this one up here I prefer using the paste. It just doesn't sound as harsh to me. And then I always change the snare to the Vinnie Paul custom. And now just a, a quick snippet of the guitars um, from the second chorus into the guitar solo. Just some of the effects that I use. Usually I record using the Flying Puppets um, Easy Mix setting just because I'm very fond of Metallica and happen to like that sound. And then I'll throw on just a really quick uh, sample of the, uh, the Vintage Master, and that brings everything together, sort of, so. Okay, so that uh, pretty much wraps that up. Um, if you want to hear the whole track, I'll put a, a link to it here at the end of the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually have a video next week. I'm... This sounds really sad. I'm expecting a death in the family in the next few days. Um, it, it's really sad. Um, I don't want to talk about it a whole lot because it's it's not me or somebody that I can actually talk about right now. But uh, there, there's a chance that I, I won't have a video next week and just wanted to let you know why. Um, but in the meantime, please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment or question down below. Remember to hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified when these videos go up yeah, on Thursdays, of course. And um, yeah, in the meantime, just have a good weekend. I will see you here again next week.